Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new video. Uh, on the NotCoin, I, uh, a, a bit of an update because yesterday I was wrong, all right? Because what I said yesterday uh, is that I, I felt like after we had this, um, this fake out right here and then some significant bearish breakouts, I felt like it was most likely we would dump down lower. Um, now, throughout the day, I, I got to be honest, I mean, I mean, we were holding on this, this, this 50 EMA, 28 EMA band pretty well. So I should have known, perhaps, um, that the, 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 the bearish momentum would not stick. I, th I think in general, this would have been a better trade if it, if it was with uh, high volume markets, all right? Or ju ju just at least non-weekend markets. Uh, because markets in the weekends are, are very, very often... A bit hard to analyze there's a lot of fake outs uh, like for example i mean if you if you take a look at notcoin right now i would say the main resistance levels and the main key levels are right here between 2.1 cents and then two cents and again yesterday on the four hour time frame as well we got a bit of a fake out above that level so um and, and then we did get a significant breakout above two cents here um even though we, we got a fake out on friday i think the breakout yesterday was in general um, a real one and that's also why I'm telling you I, I, I was wrong because overall I think it's much better to be relatively bullish on Notcoin right now um, than to be bearish it's, uh, it's, it's just I mean whatever you want to say if you think about it fundamentally what you can see is that Ton as a network is still growing rapidly maybe not in the last 24 hours but overall there's still a lot of growth in there and not is obviously being, I mean, the, the, the guy from Telegram, Pavel Durov, is also one of the biggest holders. I think he has 1% of the supply, for example. And the, um, the, 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 the parties or, or whoever that pushed Ton up a lot. I mean, Ton has grown a lot this year. Excuse me, I'm a, I'm a little bit ill. Um, are, are, it's, it seems to be that they're behind Ton, uh, not as well. All right, and then what you saw yesterday is that the momentum also continued to be high. So, so as you can see, um, wh when we when we made that new high yesterday in the afternoon, you can see the open interest followed that very very nicely. So uh, there was no, you could say like there's a divergence right now between the price and the RSI. So you could say there's some sort of a bearish divergence here, but when I have to compare the RSI with the open interest. I would always choose the open interest as the best metric to, to test divergences. Because what you can see with this is that, all right, price went higher, maybe the RSI is lower, but the RSI is a formula. And the open interest is real positions being opened. And what you can see is that real positions were being opened. So yeah, sure, we got a fake out, but momentum is still going up. We got a real breakout above two cents. The fundamentals, I would say, are, are still bullish for, for the whole ton, ton ecosystem. So therefore, what I think is best is to kind of stay away from this, right? Because what you can see as well is that overall, the liquidations that occur, especially in the last two days on NOT, are relatively high. Like yesterday, for example, what you saw as well, excuse me, <clears throat> but what you saw as well is the first time we tried to break above 2.1 cents, we liquidated quite a lot of shorters here and then immediately had a big drop liquidating quite a lot of longers and i do think or at least i i, I have su su sufficient evidence to suggest that i do think there are some bigger players um aka wills playing around with knots now is that necessarily bearish no but what that does mean is that i do think you have to be a little bit more careful and especially now being sunday we'll get a lot of new capital flowing into the markets in the next 24 hours a lot is possible if you look at the technicals right now in combination with the fundamentals and uh, the momentum what we see I would say it's most likely we will continue up, but I would not trade that. All right, maybe if we get some sort of a breakout above 2.15 cents, I would take a trade because I think that's enough technical uh, technical confirmation. Then we can rally back up to 2.4, 2.5 and higher. Um, but for now, I would kind of await the situation, wait for either a breakout above 2.15 or a breakout below 1.9. Because like I said, with that new capital flowing into the markets, that is a possibility. Volatility is to be expected. Um, we've seen major buys coming in since since Wednesday. So some sort of a profit-taking moment heading into the new week is a possibility as well. Due to the circumstances right now, I have to tell you that we're bullish. Um, but the main thing I want to tell you is, is be careful and wait for that confirmation. 
But those are my thoughts. That's what I think you need to know for now. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Uh, but for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.